Get it. Get high, rapper. The man hour. You already know. It's live. It's raw. It's going down. Like these. I'm going around letting everybody know that they welcome to the show. Yep. It's the latest thing you've ever seen. You already know. No. Let me introduce you to your host of the hour. If you Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. Yeah, it's the man hour. Yep. Got the hottest plays. Uh, all the breaking news. Yeah. Every rumor, every trade, every breaking bruise. Mm -hmm. Tighten up the screws. Yeah, it's going down. Have you saying what the fuck what? you never watered down? Woo. It's going down. I'll be rolling up. Yep. And if you buy it or you sell it, then you made the cut. Watch it flip it back. I can double up. I got some ratchet for that ass. I'ma burn it up. Gotta check the rules and know that it be fair foul. Rap blow the whistle. Coach throw the towel. We can do this on the field or side of the lines. It's the man now and though. Now we going live. <laughs> What is up, guys? Welcome to the Mike and Mike Man Hour. I am Michael Buckasha here, the host of tonight's show, guys. And as always, we are still giving away that $100 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is like our Facebook page to get an entry. You can get additional entries by simply sharing this live stream. That gives you 10 more entries. Becoming a top fan. There's another 100 entries once you become a top fan. And then, of course, you can join some trash talk groups as well. Those are two more entries for that as well. And, of course, every time you invite some friends to join one of our trash talk groups, it shows me who is invited over, over there. And we give you two more entries for that as well. Man, it is super, super easy to get this $100 Amazon gift card. And we are giving it away as soon as we hit that 500 like button. We are at 450 at last check before tonight's show. By the end of the week, guys, I would love to hit that 500 mark. I mean, we saw exponential exponential growth the first couple weeks, and it's kind of you know it's it's kind of um, plateaued a like a like a, a little bit. But you know what? We have faith in you guys. Share this content out with some people. Get it out. Let's hit that 500 likes. Because I want to give away a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. It is simple as that. Welcome everybody that is in the chat over there on YouTube Live. We see you guys. We see you, uh, Jameson. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say your name there, but it's something something gaming over there on YouTube channel. Woo, I had a sneeze there, boys. I'm sorry about that. We are also live on Periscope as well tonight over on Facebook on the RTS Sports Network page as well. Guys, I've been working really, really hard on that, and we got that website up and going again. We had some technical difficulties at the beginning of the week on that but we got it back up we got it going and i, I i'm excited i mean august 3rd is approaching and that is going to be one of the biggest days of rtf sports network history guys we have uh, just watch the website see see what is about to happen august 3rd rtf sports network guys keep that in mind august 3rd 7 a.m it is going down do we have a possible two-hour morning show coming for you? Do we? Who who knows? Check out the website and get it rolling. But normally on this time, and I, I would bring in my man, my brother from another mother, Mike LeBlanc. But he is he 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 got wrapped up today. He he is uh he is hitting those minefields and he, he is just he is grinding away. And I have nothing but praise for the man. Every time he works, it makes me work that much harder. Uh, so, guys, definitely when he comes back tomorrow, it is his birthday weekend. Michael LeBlanc's birthday is coming up, guys. So send him all the happy birthdays tomorrow when he comes back on to the show. And we have to give him a big, big happy birthday shout-out. I mean, we might even see him singing some happy birthday. So if you guys have the pipes, you know, or I me mean, just... Make a little TikTok. Sing, sing some happy birthday stuff to us. Send it over to the Mike and Mike and Man Hour inbox, and we'll play it on, on air. So if, if we get any happy birthdays in our inbox, we will get those played for you guys. And it is, man, tonight's show is going to be something special. We've been, uh, I've been giving you guys the top 10 running backs that 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 like I, like I think throughout the day on our Instagram and Facebook pages. If you aren't following us on Facebook, Instagram, you should, Mike and Mike Man Hour on, over on Instagram. And we're on Twitter as well, at Mike Man Hour. We've also been sharing it like, like as well on there. We have gone all the way up to 
number four. So on tonight's show, I'm going to give you guys number three, two, and one, and, and, and of course, recap the other seven that we have gotten into. But whew, I have to speak my mind a little bit, speak about what is going on in my neck of the woods, right? So, guys, we are all aware of the social injustice that is happening in the world. We are all of a, we all aware that we want justice for Breonna Taylor. We all are aware that we want justice for George Floyd, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So where I work in downtown, there is a – I don't want to call it a daycare because it's, it's kind of, of like a developmental school per, per se. Uh, so it is for kids that have like uh, – like they're like autistic and, you know, they are – they are not fully developed in the brains and bodies and et cetera. So I, I, I don't know what the proper name of this place is, but it, it, it is a school for, for those type of kids to, you know, get more hands-on, more one-on-one attention to learn and to grow and, and to be pro- and be productive people in society, right? So I've been working back at the office now for what, two, three months-ish, two, two months or so. And, uh, Every day on the side side sidewalk, a teacher, which is a white teacher, plays hangman with his students. Right. So, if you guys have never played hangman, it is a game where you draw like a little L or like I don't know, maybe like a seven with like a little thing down, and you have a word and you draw lines underneath that and you guess letters to spell out a phrase or like a word. And if you miss it, you get a like a head and then a body arms and legs, right? I mean, everybody my age has played it. Like, I, I kind of thought it was, it has kind of gone obsolete a, a little bit, but then again, I'm kind of like, well, I mean, shit. I mean, like, if they do it, I mean, it's still politically politically correct, right? So, where I'm getting at this is uh, there was a white teacher playing with a black student playing hangman. Like I said, they do this every day. I see it on the sidewalk every day. So, because, like, I take a little walk, uh, like, around lunchtime to clear my head, to get out, to get some fresh air, to get some of that 95-degree humidity in my face, right? And it's there every day. And it's not the same one. It's a it's a, it's a a new one because, you know, they – like, the sidewalk has the blocks, and they work their ways down, right? So, back to, back to what I was saying. It was a white teacher with a black student. And for whatever reason, there happened to be a group of protesters walking – through our little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a corporate. So like all of our office buildings are like in like one bit old, uh, it's kind of like a shopping center, but for like office buildings, it's not an industrial park. It's, you know, it's office buildings, you know, suit and ties type of things. So they were walking through that. I, I'd assume they were going to the other side of the river to protest, but for whatever reason they stopped and they saw, they, they saw this teacher playing hangman with the black student. And you thought the world would have froze over when these group of protesters saw this. I'm assuming they were Black Lives Matter uh, because, you know, that there there is a Black Lives Matter protest every day in Louisville now, shoot, since May. So going on a couple months here. Uh, So I'm not assuming, but I'm I'm assuming it was probably black, black, Black Lives Matter. They raked, raked this white guy. Over the coals, left, right, up, down, sideways, in between, inside out, for playing hangman with a challenged student. This student literally broke down and was like shaking so bad and crying because he, he the, the student had no idea what was going on, and this teacher was like, he didn't know to fight back to take. The, I mean, like he, he was just so baffled of them attacking him. I mean, like physic, like not not physically, but verbally attacking him, saying that. It is racist that he's like, like he is doing this and this, this and this, and he is wrong. He's like, it just, it is thing. Things like this is really gets underneath my skin, and I, guys, I, I had to walk away. Like I wanted to help the guy, but me being another white person helping another white person to aid, it just it it would have caused a big scene. I didn't want any part of it whatsoever, unfortunately. So. I have to be honest. I I walked away from the situation, and I feel bad about it. And quite frankly, if I were to do that situation again, I think I would have to do it again. Like I, I would have to walk away again, unfortunately. 
It's just that's just that's just the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess, at the end at the end of the day. But let's let's go on and move past that point. Let's let's go ahead and you know um, get to some key topics today. So we do have a. Let me answer some questions in the chat here. Uh, so yeah, so like I said. On the other side of the break, we're we're going to give down my we're going to get to my top ten running backs going into the twenty twenty season. Uh, officially, the preseason has been canceled in the NFL, so we're going to get into that a little bit. And then, sports are back. I, I was at my brother in law's house tonight. We were having like our family supper, you know, kind of bullshitting and and like all the like all the all the good stuff. I mean, we we, we have a great time, and we watched basketball. Yes, it was preseason. Yes, you know uh, Zion was sitting out, and but JD, but JD Reddick hit a big hit a big three and taunted the bench. And man, I, I was I'm like, damn, basketball is back. I was pumped, but we're 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 going to get into it. We are going to give my true thoughts about it. But guys, we are going to be a right back right after this break. Listen to this song from my man Jay Tiggs. Let us know what you think about it. We'll be back back. Long as the money comes, they gon' keep on talking about me. Long as I'm dropping songs, they gon' keep on talking about me. Long as I'm getting paid, they gon' keep on talking about me. Fuck opinions anyway, let them keep on talking about me. Long as the money comes, they gon' keep on talking about me. Long as I'm dropping songs, they gon' keep on talking about me. Long as I'm getting paid, they gon' keep on talking about me. Fuck opinions anyway, let them keep on talking about me. Let a nigga say I can't. I made it happen in realest nigga in the room. Y'all a bunch of mannequins, the loudest in the room. I may never speak again. Looking for a sheep's opinion, it's the wrong minus then. Niggas start to count me out. I just count it up. Half off on haters cashing out, cause I ain't got enough. Out of two Sierra Russ, I ain't used to give a fuck on niggas next like bow ties. I don't plan on letting up. Told niggas I was thinking no, ain't gonna catch it up. Always count blessings, being lucky just ain't good enough.
way in all this and talking here uh, and whatnot. So earlier in the day, I was making a post on the old interweb, Get high, on the old rapper. machine, on the old Instagram, Man on now. Facebook, etc. Of the uh, you already know in the league going it's into the 2020 season, like. Who do Raw. I think will finish, you know, one through Let's one through, through, through ten? Like D. I'm now, going around with some flag on number seven. The My show. man, Brandon Clemens, I mean, he is always there, always there to check, put me in check. You. But, you know what? Hour, it is what it is, because I believe this is how they're going to pan out in the 2020 season. But first things first is number ten, I had Chris Carson from the Seattle Seahawks. I think he is the most underrated running back in the NFL. So, in, two, in 2019, he rushed for 430 yards, double and an average 4 yards per carry. The only downside about Chris Carson's uh, season was he did only have seven touchdowns. Going into the 2020 season, I, he is going to be the man on Seattle. Seattle Seahawks are going to be scary <laughs> good team guys. What they're, is they're, up, guys? They're going to be Welcome flying to the under the radar, I and I can see them Michael like the next thing, here, the next thing, the, the next thing you know, show, guys. is week 16. Always, they are sitting we are still Russell. Giving away they're sitting uh, uh, EJ. They're sitting Tyler All you have to do is because like our Facebook they're, page you know, they're an entry. You can get 12 and 2 going into week 16, right? Sharing this live like, stream that I, could, I can see that happening. They, they're, but but they're, they're going to be a quiet, scary good. Much like the uh, and then Packers were last year. They were 13 well. and 3, right? Two more entries People said that, they, that as like well. it, it was a and sloppy course, 13 and 3. And it was a weak schedule with 13 and 3. It doesn't matter. They're still 13 and 3, right? Over there. Seattle Seahawks have the opportunity to do this. super, super easy to get a Amazon gift card. It's going to be the And we are giving it away as soon as. I think he's going to go for 1,500 yards, 500 likes, season, and we are definitely double his touchdown production. Check. I'm looking at about 15 to 16 By the end of the week, guys, I would love to hit season. that 500 mark. We, Number we nine. Saw exponential, had exponential growth of Aaron Jones weeks, from the Green kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of, Packers. Um, Aaron Jones did only rush for 1,084 yards but last season, but also had a 4.4 yards per Share this content out with some people. Get it out. Let's hit that 500 likes. I want to give away a touchdown. See, find the end zone, guys. Not as simple as that. In Welcome everybody that is in the chat. I look for Aaron Jones YouTube to be right around live. the same rushing you numbers, right, we see right, you, uh, right around the 1100 uh, yards. Uh, I don't but know how to say. I your look name for his there, passing game, it's like his something, pass something catching ability on YouTube to channel. explode in the 2020 season. Because everybody has been talking about Aaron Rodgers and playing with this Ooh, chip on the shoulder, and he has no wide receiver. We are also yada, yada, yada. live on Periscope as so well tonight. Green Bay over Greg over Facebook, there from Twist on the Nation. RTS Sports Network. He has he sold well. me on the Green I've Bay Packers really receivers, hard on and, that, and, and, and I've been watching that film. website up and going. And I've been watching their down, their down at the beginning of the. Aaron Jones that, is going to be open in the back flats up. We got it going. this season. And I, he's, he's going to be a I'm big side of that passing game. August 3rd and is I, approaching, I sliding into the number nine That is going to be one of the biggest there. days number of eight, RTF Sports Joe history. Mixon from the guys, Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Many of the people are saying, who the hell is Joe website? Mixon? See, right? see what is about to happen. Well, Joe Mixon August has 3rd, been a scary RTF Sports running back for Cincinnati in mind. Like last year. August 3rd. 7 a.m. But the fact that he doesn't have any notoriety we have on anybody's list is because he's in Cincinnati. For you? That's the Do only we, reason. Because, you know, knows? check out the website. Cincinnati has and been won like six games in the last three years. It's, it's, but it's been something on this time. And right? I would bring but in my Chris, man, my brother, sorry, from Joe mother, Mixon, Mike LeBlanc, but he rushed is, for 1,137 he, he, he yards last pay. season. He, he is uh, with. He is hitting just those mind touchdowns. But that was because the uh, he is just, this isn't a grinding could never away. find the end zone. And like every time they would be driving down, down, the, down the, the field, it would be an interception or a fluke works, fumble. It makes me work or that something much harder to that effect. Uh, so, guys, a healthy AJ Green, he comes back. a new quarterback in Joe Burrow tomorrow. is going to be the difference in Joe Mixon's career. Weekend. This Michael year is going to make or break birthday Joe Mixon. coming up, guys. And I so think he knows that. I think he's going to get around 1,300 yards this season. But I'm looking for his touchdown to go way up. Yes, he only had five. Shout out. Uh, it it, it, we it would not surprise me if he had 50 to 17 so touchdowns have just the pipes, on the ground. You know, also, or, three or four I mean, to add more on the TikTock. air raid as, 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 as well. Send it over to the Mike and so Mike. As I was alluding to, inbox, number seven, I got some flack from my man Brandon Coombs and his co-host. I believe his co-host is Chris as well. They're from Triple Shot Sports. I am looking for the shots of, you know, they always We've deliver been, them, and I uh, counterpunch them right the back. Like, yes, my man, I have that, some more. That, 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 like, but I, number that, seven is going to be Derrick Henry the from the Tennessee Titans. Yes, following us I on know. Derrick Henry had should. a Mike fabulous and Mike second part of the season. And we're on Twitter as well. He had a fabulous postseason. We had 500 yards in the postseason. 
Boston. But look at those eight like, previous like games well in the middle. Uh, we at have the gone all the way season. up to yeah, there's a game in Denver. Four. Was it like so week on tonight's show? Seven, I'm going to give you guys number Denver, three, two, and he had one. Sixteen attempts, and, like twenty yards. Of course, recaps. Yards. Yeah, there's yes, seven. I know he's still a dynamic back. That's why I have him number seven. That's why he's in the top ten because he is a dynamic back. Speak my mind a little bit. Speak about what is going on in my I think in the woods, right? So, guys, we are all aware of the social injustice that is happening in the world. We are all all aware that we want justice average for per Taylor. Taylor. We all are aware that we want yards per carry. George Floyd. Absolutely um, crazy. Et cetera, et cetera, the only cetera, downfall right? of his really so thing was his where I work out of the in back downtown, but he still, he still there still is a... Or, 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 I don't want to call it a daycare because it's some yards kind of, out of like the, a developmental uh, catching the, school. Catching the ball. Per, per se. Now. Uh, so it is for kids that have like... Uh, I look for him to have around 1,200 yards this season. With they are 15 not fully touchdowns. developed in the brains. That is going to be down so I, I, from the I, I, last I year when he had 1,500 yards. This place is, the reason why it, I say it, that it is a school for, is because he did for sign a deal. Type of kids right? to, he is you going know, to run out of bounds a little bit more to save his body for that four, for his four year deal. And, and he is entering his what, fifth or sixth year into the league. Right? Running so, back shelf life is five to six, six I've years. Been he, back you know, in the office now for what, give him two, about week nine, week ten. Two, he's going to have that ankle so. injury. He's he's, and, uh, he's he's going to have that sore hammy. You know, side, he side he is a he is a board ball. He is which he is bruises and teacher, runs down the field straight. Right. Students, right. So he has a four year contract to look at now. Hangman, you're going to see him run out of bounds a little bit more this season. So that's why I see the yardage going down. I do see the touchdowns going up because I do think the Titans. Have you found have their and you draw offensive lines mojo. That so and you guess letters to he is still not a phrase or like number a word. six. And I have Le'Veon Bell. Like yes, 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 yes. I got body, back for this too. Arms and Le'Veon right. Bell. What has he done since what twenty seventeen or whatever? It, has whatever it was. Like, I, I, I exactly. kind of thought it was. So it has kind of gone. Le'Veon Bell did take a little bit. Twenty eighteen. But then again, I'm kind of like well. And then twenty nineteen, he only rushed for seven hundred and eighty nine yards. It's still clearly. Politically correct, but also, right? So they had where I'm getting at this is uh, there was a white teacher every playing play with a black student Le'Veon Bell was, in, was in there. Teams were like there said, to say, I see it on the sidewalk every beat day. us through the air. So because like I and think the Jets walk uh, the like Jets have improved massively in the offseason. I look for them to be you know eight humidity in my face right this season and seven seven and nine much better than and it's not the same one last year. It's a but Le'Veon Bell is going to have twelve or thirteen hundred yards. I see him finding finding the end zone double digit times. Back to what I was saying, it was a white to eleven touchdowns with a black student. Big. But Le'Veon Bell is that focal point there of that offense still. A Plus, they have other weapons like Frank Gore as well, and they have like a slew of running backs. I think they have like little, um, four running backs with two years of experience or less. So, like, like I don't even know. know, know so, like, absolutely. all of our office buildings are like in like one middle. Backs. Uh, Number five, it's kind of like a shopping center, but for like Delvin Cook from the Minnesota building. Vikings. It's not an industrial park. The same it's, Delvin you know, Cook that I believe he wanted to trade just like a week ago or two weeks ago. So but he they does were walking through that five. I, I assume they were going running to running backs going in the other side of the river to He had 1,100 protest, yards, in but for whatever reason, they stopped and they saw, they, they saw this teacher carry. playing Hayman with the now, black. Even a bigger stat for him: you thought 519 the world receiving yards froze over with just when under these 10 yards group of protesters catch. saw this. He was I'm Kirk assuming Cousins, they were Black uh, Lives Matter security blanket that there is Black Lives Matter. I look for him to be much of now. that, if not more, out of, out of the passing May, game this so year. On Almost put up here. Christian McCaffrey type uh, so numbers uh, from 2019. I, I, I'm not assuming. I, I see him rushing for 1,300 I'm, I'm yards it was and seven to 800 black, yards black lives matter. receiving. They because of the uh, exit of Stephon Diggs, this they, white guy uh, I, I over the coals, he's, he's, he's left, going to be right, mass improved, up, down, sideways, in between, inside out for playing hangman with a challenge student. Number four, this student this literally is become broke a down surprise and was like shaking so bad and crying because he damn near the everybody had no idea what was going on. These, and this teacher top was four like, receivers, three of them are from the he NFC didn't know East to fight NFC back East to take the full like, running backs. He, he right? was just so baffled four, of them attacking be him. Miles and like Sanders, Sanders. like not not physically, Who? but verbally attacking the Philadelphia him, Eagles running back. Race is that he's like like he is doing this and this this and this. He did only rush for eight hundred and eighteen yards last season, but he also averaged four point six yards. Things like this is really. Get second highest so far on our list, I, but guys, I, I had to I walk away. I look for him to double like the yard. I wanted almost, to help the guy, giving him, but me being another white person helping another white person to aid digit touchdowns. It, just, it, it would have caused a big scene. Touchdowns on the I didn't want any him. part of it whatsoever. He, unfortunately, he's Carson Wentz's so best friend. I, I have to be honest. Him I I walked away from the situation because of that receiving core that the Philadelphia Eagles have. Slim to none. Frankly, mean that if I were to do. 
that see situation him in build again, up again. The Eagles have. I think I would have to do it again. Like just I, I, I would have to keep walk that away safety again. out of the box. Unfortunately, Miles just, Sanders. Some that's just room that's to just run. the way it is. That's the way the cookie now, crumbles. I guess. At these the, are the posts end, that were the not on but our Facebook. Let's page. let's go on and move past that tell you guys point. That right. Let's, let's go ahead and you know um, get to some key topics today. So we do have a. Let me answer some questions in the chat here. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, on the other side of the break, we're, we're going to give down my. We're going to get to my top ten running backs going into the 2020 season. Uh, officially, the preseason has been canceled in the NFL, so we're going to get into that a little bit. And then, sports are back. Uh, I was at my brother-in-law's house tonight. We were having like our family supper, you know, kind of bullshit and, and like all the like all the all the good stuff. I mean, we, we could have a great time. And we watched basketball. Yes, it was preseason. Yes, you know, uh, Zion was sitting out, and but JD but JD Redick hit a big hit a big three and taunted the bench, and I, I was. I'm like, damn, basketball is back. I was pumped, but we're, we're, we're going to get into it. We are going to give my truth to Hutz about it because we are going to be a right back right after this break. Listen to the song from my man, Jake Tiggs. All righty, guys. Let's Welcome back to the we'll Mike and Mike back. Man Hour. That music kind of stopped the beat. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Welcome back to the Mike and Mike Man Hour, guys. I am Papa Buck out here, the host of tonight's show, guys. Six and iTunes, ten, Spotify, guys. They're looking like more well. like an eight, if you prefer eight, to listen nine, to seven, 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 podcast seven, four. I see them. As always, we are on the RTS Sports Network. Com. Com. Is really edition East you know, Coast time. 
and I believe me up that hill. as of August me 3rd, up that giant bandwagon hopping change, guys. fan wheel. We will let Ray you know here, it. right here on our Facebook live page. <clears throat> Number live two. On Facebook. Number two. From 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. East let me Coast time. Let whistle a little Sunday bit. Through I am putting Thursday. Christian now, McCaffrey I want you guys at number two. Weigh in yes, on this I know. topic here. I know. Uh, I know what whatnot. he did so, last season. He had earlier in the day, I was making a post on the old interwebs, on the old Twitter machine, on the old Instagram. He also Facebook, had a thousand yard receiving, eight point uh, seven yards per catch, running backs in the league going yes, into I, I, with 2020 with a backup quarterback. Season. Yes, I know. Like, who do I think now will they finish? You know, one through one. That's exactly my point. Through ten. Last year, now, I did get Christian some flack on number seven because the they had a backup man, quarterback. Man, Brandon Coombs, I mean, he is always there. This year always they there have to a true put starting me in quarterback. check. They have but a quarterback. You know I think is going it to is carry because the team I believe this is how they're going to head out this year. So that's, that's why I think his season. total stats are so going to go down. Number ten, I had Chris Carson. I think his rushing yards will be right on. I think he is the most underrated running back. In the NFL, 1,300 yards in, in this 2009, season. In 2019, I look for about 17 to 18 1,230 yards, but the receiving is, is going to go down about four six yards or seven per hundred. carry. I don't think he, the only he is downside be about Chris Carson's coming out uh, season was he did only have seven field this touchdowns year. because of the going into Teddy the 2020 to push season. The ball I, he is going to be the man. Earlier on we Seattle. had the uh, Carolina Seattle Seahawks are going to be pretty, scary good team. Pretty, guys. They're pretty they're, bad. They're going to be flying. Um, I think it was like under three, the radar, 13, and, and I can see them like the next um, thing. The so next thing, the, the next thing you know, they're going to be in a lot of situations. He did just sign a mega deal. They're sitting kind of protect him as well. EJ, they're sitting Tyler giving us the number one running back going into 2020. From what I feel, Michael Buckeye going from the Mike and Mike Man Hour right? on like, iTunes, iHeartRadio, I I and Spotify. Spotify. They, they're Ezekiel, but, but they're going to be a quiet, from the Dallas scary Cowboys. good. Much like the uh, 1,507 yards last, last season, they were 13 average, and 3, right? 12 touchdowns. People said also that they, 420 that yards. Sloppy, 13 uh, receiving for it was a weak touchdown as well. 13 and 3. It doesn't matter. The they're reason why I think Ezekiel Elliott, I think he's going to have that opportunity to do this. But rushing Chris Carson this season. This Mike McCarthy the focal offense point of that and just the offense. Dallas Cowboys and I think he's going to go on paper. For it is so explosive. It looks like definitely double his touchdown like production. These guys will not be able to get stopped. They, they're going to have this season. You know, um, Dak Number Prescott nine. and Andy Dalton competing for a quarterback spot. Aaron Jones you know, pushing from the each green other week in and week out. Packers. So, so therefore, that Aaron Jones did only rush for a thousand eighty-four yards last season, but also had a four point four yards per attempt. Dalton average there. Dalton. I think Andy Dalton. He did score. Cowboys offense is great. The end zone guys, able to put the ball down the field to Mari Cooper, Ceedee Lamb, and the I look for and Aaron Jones boy, to be right around the same his, rushing wow, numbers, wow, right, wow, right, wow, right, wow, right, 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 right now. But it is oh, going to open yards. up the running game for Ezekiel Elliott. I look for like his passing game, thirteen thousand five hundred seven catching ability. Guys, I'm looking at seventeen eighteen hundred yards, twenty because everybody has been talking per game for Ezekiel Elliott. With this chip on the shoulder, and has no wide receiver. I really think he's going to have a great year. Green He's Bay going to Gray hold the rushing title Twist at the Nation. end of the 2020 he season. He has sold me on those Green Bay Packers receivers. The Dallas Cowboys are going to. I've been watching some film. Possibly. I've been watching their no. down. Their down. They will threat. win the NFC East. Aaron Jones. So guys, is be let's go ahead and recap the my uh he's, my he's listen again. Number one, we have Zeke Elliott. Two, and that's we have Christian McCaffrey sliding into the number nine. Three, Shaquan Barkley there. Number eight. Number four. Joe Miles Mixon Sanders, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Five, Delvin Cook. Many of the people saying, who Lady the hell is Bell? Joe Mixon? Number right? seven, Derek Henry. Well, Joe number Mixon eight, has been Joe a scary Mixon. running back and for number Cincinnati. Nine, I mean, like Aaron year, like, Jones, uh, obviously. And, but the fact that least, he doesn't have any notoriety the Seattle on anybody's Seahawks, list is because he's in Cincinnati. Running back That's the in only reason because, you know, Chris, Cincinnati Carson. has been, they won like six games in the last three years. It's been something ridiculous, right? But Chris... Or sorry, Joe Mixon. Alrighty, guys. Now it is time 11, to move on to yards last season. With what am I most happy just about? Touchdowns, but that was because tonight. the uh, the Cincinnati <laughs> Bengals what could I never happy find about the end zone. When I like went every time they'd be driving down, down, the couch, down the field, it'd be yeah, an interception NBA or a fluke TV fumble on. or something to and that effect. God, a healthy I saw some AJ NBA basketball and a new yes, quarterback in Joe Burrow is going to be the difference in Joe Mixon's career. Yes, there was no fans in there. This year is going to make or break Joe Mixon. And I think he knows that. I think he's, he's going to get around 1,300 yards this season. No more watching soccer. But I'm soccer, looking for no his touchdown watching to go way up. Yes, he only no had more five. watching cars turn uh, left. It, I saw it, it would not surprise me if he had 15 I saw a ball being dribbled. Touchdowns. Slammed up. Just like on I saw the ground. Bowl, bowl. Also, three or four seven to foot add two more himself. on the did, did you guys air, know rate as foot two, two, air rate as well. Pounds. So as I was alluding to, number seven, I got some flack from my man, Brandon Coombs, and his co-host. I believe his co-host is Chris as well. Uh, they're I saw basketball. Shot sports. But um, this is the most comical thing I am looking thing for the shots. Uh, 
you know, so they, they are deliver them and I counter punch them right. People, sweaty like, individuals yes, mommy, rubbing each more, other, boxing each other out. But number seven is going to be Derrick Henry from the like, Tennessee from Titans. Tennessee Titans. But when they went on the bench, yes, they were I know Derrick Henry had a wearing, fabulous wearing second mask. part of the season. He had a fabulous what? postseason. What? They had 500 yards in the postseason. Aren't you guys but look in at those eight NBA previous bubble? games in the middle uh, b- at the beginning of you were the in season. the bubble? Everybody yeah, was the game in Denver was daily week six or week if seven. Not, they went to Denver. Even. I mean, he had 16 attempts, like amounts of testing. Yards. Yes, they're taking I know every precaution for people not That's to get COVID inside the bubble. That's why he's in the top ten. But yet you guys are socially distancing back. and wearing these but masks. It, it didn't make any sense to me. I think he's, I so think ever. he is going to take a little step back this year from last year. Uh, uh, last year he did have 1,540 yards. Let me digress to last yeah, segment, this, Mr. Brandon King. Would like to jump in late? Average per touch was Guess you have Le'Veon Bell as seven-ranked player. Absolutely crazy. The only downfall of his really thing was his pass-catching ability out of the backfield, but he still had 500 or, 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 no, I'm sorry, LeBron has 150 some yards out of the uh, catching the. I don't know much about basketball, so now my bad. But nonetheless, I mean LeBron I look for is him to have around 1,200 yards this season, season was pretty good with too, right? 15 touchdowns. When I saw the Lakers. That is going to be down was that from Palisol the last year. We had 1,500 yards. His brother's name. The Mark, reason why I say that is because he did sign a deal. But nonetheless, right. let me get back he on track. You run out of bounds a Jeez, little bit son, more you're to save his body for that. Divert me on this train deal. track, and I'm trying to have an what, intelligent fifth or conversation six year with, with myself league. and you people. Running back shelf life is five to six. Jeez, six but what I'm years. saying is, he, you know, is this whole about NBA week nine, bubble week thing a myth? He's going to have that ankle injury. Like, he's, why are we socially distancing on the bench? You know, wearing masks. He is a. Why are the commentators sitting sitting eight feet apart wearing masks? Runs down the field. You guys are all supposed to be isolated in this bubble anyway. He has a four year contract to look at now since you might see him run out of bounds a little bit more in this Michael Mike man hour. I'm sure Michael Bob would think the same thing. I do think the Titans happy birthday down there coming up. Offensive mojo, but so. He is still number seven. Uh, guys, number six. I have I Le'Veon Bell. Basketball. Yes, 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 yes. I got flack for this too. I have never been Le'Veon so Bell. What has he done since what? Twenty seventeen or whatever like, until whatever tonight. it was. Exactly. I mean, the so, I saw like Le'Veon Bell did take uh, uh, twenty eighteen off. Uh, you know, and then the twenty nineteen he only rushed for seven hundred and eighty nine yards. Something. But also, Fred, I always have they had intelligent eight to nine guys my, in that box. Every Just because your flags are skewed and mine are straight and arrows. In there. I mean, Teams it, were like, there to say, but guys, basketball is back. Sports are back couldn't. in general. The Jets have improved massively kickoff, in the offseason. I look for them to be you know, for eight, Major League eight, Baseball. Eight and eight this season. Seven, seven and nine, much better than their or five and 12 last year. But, it, but Le'Veon Bell is going to have it is less than 1,200 yards away. I see him finally coming like as well. the end zone double digit times a little bit. I know you are a baseball fan. And Big, some other people in the chat. But Le'Veon I know Bell you're a is that focal point of that offense. Still. I'm a Kansas City Royals fan. They have other weapons like got Frank Gore as well, and they have like Casey a slew on. of running backs. Like, I think they, they played like the Houston Astros four running back the other day. Two years in a preseason so, like, spring know, training know, know exhibition. Absolutely, game, right? In the Handful spring training game, number five, three players from the Arizona Delvin Cardinals Cook from the Minnesota Vikings. Now they the same Delvin like Kirk that I believe he wanted to trade just like a shoulders. week ago or two weeks ago. Uh, I, like I believe but the average speed the of the hit by pitch for were under running backs going into the 2020 season. So they're showing like he had 1,100 yards and whatnot, in 29, etc. 4.5 times the bases were loaded for the Arizona carry. or for the uh, now Houston even Astros. a bigger stat for him. So when the Royals pitchers did hit these players just under one a run per catch, I believe the Royals lost the game. But you know that's nothing new if you're a Royals fan. All season, none of your bandwagon hockey. I look for him to be much of that, if not more. You guys can all out of the passing game this year. Almost put up Christian McCaffrey type numbers from 2019. What I'm bringing up here is the reason why. And these seven players are getting yards hit is because of the cheating scandal because of the, that uh, happened when the Stephon Houston Astros they, won the it, World Series. I, I just think I've been on record. I've said this many, many times coming out of the backfield. The only reason why season. people are mad at the Houston Astros is because they got caught. Number four. That is the only reason why This is going to become a big surprise. Quote, policing the for system. Damn near everybody. everybody. People listening on iTunes, these radio, iHeart Radio, or Spotify. Three of them are from the air quoting for that. NFC East is Full of Guys, backs, let's right? be honest. Number four, everybody in the Major League Sanders. Baseball system Who? was cheating that Philadelphia year. Eagles if running you back, weren't, Miles Sanders. You were stupid. Yeah. He Just did like only if, rush for 818 if, if you yards using steroids, steroids season, back in the steroid era, you are stupid. per touch. If the advantage is there, second highest take it. so far on our list. Let me repeat that for a little slower for you uh, but, non so listening people. I look for him to <clears> double the yardage almost, giving him if the opportunity is there this season with taking. 
digit if touchdowns. there is not a rule regulating the touchdowns on the ground shady for him. gray area he, he's make, going to be Carson Wentz make best them friend make they're going to feed him make them make 20 plus an times a out game of somebody. because of that receiving Nine core that the Philadelphia Eagles have you unless slim to none I mean that that Receiving there is a difference between stealing e- signs and using is cameras rough, and buzzers. But just good enough. I don't to know keep anything about the buzzers, the but I do know they're banging bats Miles and whatnot Sanders in some the room to run dugout. Just now, face it, Brandon. These are the posts that were not you are on Cubs our fan, Facebook if I'm page. Not a, if I'm not, I'm tell mistaken, you guys it, right after it is not the their break. fault that the cameras were set up perfectly where they could see the signs. Baseball is a game of cheating. Baseball is a game of cheating. He says there is a rule against technology to steal signs. There wasn't then. Show me in the rule book where it where where it says that you cannot use your camera to. There might be there one now, but I'm pretty sure that there wasn't then. So, like I said, rules are there to be broken, right? None, nonetheless, if if you're not cheating in baseball, you are not trying. What do you do to try to get the first, second, and steal second? You are cheating to get second, right? How about this? When I'm on second base, leading off, step, step, shuffle, 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 right? I'm looking in at the catcher to see if I can see some signs to pick them up to give my batter tips to let them know. What is the difference between that running from that runner on second looking in or a camera? All righty, guys. Welcome back to the Mike and Mike There's Man Hour. That the music kind of stopped it abruptly. The I only reason why people bad. are my mad bad, at bad. the Astros. Welcome and back I to the Mike and Mike Man Hour, guys. Red I am Michael Buckcaster, uh, the host of tonight's show, guys. We're still um, giving away that $100 for it, like, Amazon as gift like card. As well. All you have to do is like this Facebook page. You guys are just mad share because they quote, got caught. It would be nice if you would share share this. Get, and they get some to win the World Series. into the giveaway it's, and we're it's, giving it's, away it's not my fault that you didn't think of, Amazon gift think of it to get, get an Correct. advantage for yourself right it's not now, my fault that my, uh, can, my, that my checked, Kansas uh, City Royal 63 now no. so race to 100 since losses start, year in start and year out congratulations guys, 13 guys 13 likes. so guys I definitely appreciate that we are streaming no live on our Facebook page very excited about that our YouTube page and rtfsportsnetwork.com Facebook page as well but what is up, Jameson? The, Thank you for tuning in. Let, let Jameson is a top fan, guys, so he gets a hundred here. The reason why I brought this up is because I wonder the how Amazon long gift card. hitting how do you get Astro batters is status? going to take place. Interact with us in somebody like the, the commissioner of Major League so Baseball is going to step in. If you guys are in. just now tuning in, I'm now, going over the back top in the day, running backs that I know in the steroid era or even rat number three, early to mid 2000s. So just to recap. At number Baseball 10, I had Chris itself, right? Carson from the Seattle Seahawks. You number nine had Aaron bat, Jones from the Green Bay Packers. Pitch, like the, like the, number eight, like, like the Joe next, Mixon the from the time. Cincinnati Bengals. If you stare number down seven, the home run Derek ball, Henry a little from the too long. Titans. You got a yes, high got inside cycle on this, but I'm, I'm next pitch. holding firm on this Basically, pick. Basically, number six, like I'm going to be I put Le'Veon Bell from the New York Jets. down almost said Pittsburgh Steelers. If I was a major league hitter, I would do that every time just to piss Number five, I had Delvin Cook from the Minnesota So what I'm saying is, you know, that's kind of the old. Miles school, Sanders to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now and these we're new now two kids are trying to please. You guys remember what I said? The way that NFC they don't even know how to do East it. Has three so running backs what, in the what top I'm, four. What I'm well, number three is of, another NFC is running back, young pitcher. Shea Kwan, Barkley. Usually when you hit a Barkley bad, had a thousand yards, butt, right, or, or a thousand three yards like, from scrimmage last year, averaging there, four point six yards per carry. There's going that's going to lose control. But only had six. He's going to hit a. 95, 96, and 5, mine are. And the receiving side of fastball, side, up side the neck, and it's yeah, 52 hurt receptions. A Astros player. Or 438 then, yards. Then, then what happened? Two touchdowns. <laughs> Major League Baseball. The is Giants are a massively improved later. team. They're probably going to yes, let it go for about a week. I six, seven am games. buying the New York Giants stock and then they're right now. As a passive Cowboys something. fan. I'm scared. The umpires of the are probably going to pre-warn the benches Barkley before the game. Himself. I think he is going to improve you know, going on his rushing total warning, from last warning. year. Anybody gets he, hit, he, you're out of here, about right? Fourteen hundred. That's exactly yards. what's what going to happen. Competing for that rushing title, he's an astro. He is going to double, double the World Series if not triple year. that touchdowns. So if you triple, they it, are a team that is built for the short season. There are a few teams that are built for the short season. I'm going to put out the Cincinnati Reds. Total. I think total the, touchdowns. I think the uh, White Sox are built well. for a short season. And then season I look for him to get well. around 700 yards and receiving as you know, well. Maybe like a team like the I can Quindle definitely or the Brewers. see him definitely putting that short team on his well. back and definitely so, 
leading to the Guys, Giants. There's, there's, there's going to be some sleepers wins. in the Major League I believe World when we broke down the season this earlier year in the playoffs I had in them general. going six uh, so and ten. So I'm really looking forward to yeah. baseball. Guys, they're looking like more like an it eight looks like eight, I'm getting eight, nine, co- seven, close seven, on time. So let me go ahead and see them. Speed it up here. Sweet. So Shit, Shay Com. Last night really we announced you know, on the show that the me NFL that hill. preseason me is that Giants bandwagon hopping preseason game wheel going into the 2020 number two. Number with two. that, with that being said, I have to ask the question. Let me wet the whistle a does little bit. Does this affect I am putting Cam Newton Christian McCaffrey to at number two start week one? Yes, I know, I know, I know what I, he did last I'm season. I'm pretty he sure had 13, I know. Seven yards answer, rushing, four point eight yards per rush. I'm going to go with a yes. Fifteen so touchdowns. I'm asking people in the comments. He also had a thousand yards receiving, eight point seven yards per catch. Yes, or a hashtag or touchdowns. No. Do yes, you think I, by having with the no backup quarterback, preseason yes, I know. games in the 2020, now they have this Teddy affects Bridgewater's Bridgewater. really likelihood to start That's exactly my one. point. The reason why Last I'm asking year, this is Christian it's because they had most, to carry the team because they had a backup quarterback Most battles in a starting role. for that number this one year spot they have are a true one starting on quarterback. They have a quarterback week, I think is going to be carry the team three and take the load games, off of right? Christian McCaffrey. Week, this, so week, that's, that's week, why I think his one their stats are going going to start go he down. I would have played so this three season. quarters or I think like his so. Maybe a half. Be right on second week, right, he, he right definitely right would have played par, a half. But Cam Newton would have played the whole second half. Thirteen hundred yards. Third this season. game, you would have saw who I, was going to be for about seventeen to eight Cam Newton touchdowns. Or the receiving is going to go down about six or seven hundred. Take, I don't think take, he, take he is going to be rounds, quite the threat and out led of that team. the backfield now, this year. Now, with that because not the, happening, yes, there is still competition. The yes, there are still practices. Yes, you'll have Earlier, we had the uh, Carolina scrimmages. Panthers going pretty, Hell, they, they pretty, might even have the bad. What's the team that's um, close, 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 close by there? 4 and 12. Um, um, would they have so, the Jets come by? No, they'll probably have the Giants. They're going to be a, in a lot of situations since he did just sign a big deal to kind like of protect him as well. Scrimmage, like an inner so, squad scrimmage. Giving us the you number one running back going into plays, 2020 you get 25 from what plays, I feel. Michael Buckeye from the Mike and Mike right? Man Hour on iTunes, iHeartRadio, and But like Spotify. I said, guys, I am a firm believer that once you turn on the lights from the Dallas Cowboys, you are a different type of player. 13,507 yards last season. I don't care what you say. 12 touchdowns. Some people are practice all stars. I have yards, two kids on, uh, receiving on, for on my high school team. touchdowns as well. They are practice all stars. The reason why I see them flying Zeke around the Elliot, field, hitting motherfuckers, I think he's going like to like push that 1,800-yard like rushing face, envelope this season. This is like McCarty offense, but man, and just the once Dallas Cowboys nice offense in general, turn, on paper, on their it is so explosive. It looks like the Kansas City Chiefs, like, these guys will not be able to get stopped. They, same they're same have, thing about those, you know, about, um, like me, Zach Prescott and Andy Dalton. Me, I had that quarterback spot. Like, I you know, was there where I needed to be, week out, and I wasn't so, going to so hit you hard. That, that you were my teammate, you were my brother at the because they are not going to be a great guy. I want to have a chance to hurt you. Andy Dalton, I knew my starting job was locked. I think Andy Dalton was a bad motherfucker, right? I was offense, but then those Friday nights, they would push the ball down the field. I was flying all over the field. The Saturday nights, lights come on. The other boy, I can't remember his. It just there's there's something. Different like, about it, like his name right now. Playing, under, it is going under, to under open the up the running game for Ezekiel Elliott. Like last year, he had thirteen thousand five hundred seven spot from Jarrett Stenham. I'm looking at seventeen, week three 18, of the pre- hundred yards, twenty he plus would've. touches. Jameson per says game there's no way for Ezekiel no Elliott. No way Jarrett Stenham is going to start. I, week I one. really think he, Cam he's going to have start. a great year, and he is going to hold the rushing title. I'm afraid at the end of the twenty twenty season, and because the Dallas Cowboys are going to has not been able to possibly. Cam no. Newton, they will win the, the NFC round. East to take the team. So to guys, earn let's that go ahead and recap spot, right? the Maya. You always right, listen have again. Number one, we have Zeke Elliott. Two, we have Christian McCaffrey. From people. Three, Straycon Barkley. We saw it number when, four, um, Miles Sanders. Five, when Double Tony Cook. Romo got hurt Six, a couple years Le'Veon ago. Le'Veon Bell. And Dak Prescott. Number seven, Derrick Henry. He, number eight, yes, he was Joe Mixon. To that position. And number nine, but he Aaron ripped it away Jones. and he ran and with it. He never looked back. Number ten. From the Sam Newton would have done the same thing with Jared Sinem during the preseason. Most underrated running back in now, all of NFL, Chris. Does this Carson. affect his likelihood to start week one? The answer <laughs> to that question is yes. It does affect the likelihood of him starting week one. All righty, guys. Now it is time to, start to move on one. to what am I most happy about mm. 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 from tonight? <laughs> I gotta go. What with I was happy I about is when Cam I went Newton to my is going to start house, week on one. I'm going to re-break yeah, down the NBA uh, TV. New England Patriots. I think I had them going. And eight, by eight, God, seven, nine. I saw some guys, NBA. They're basketball. looking like a more yes, and more like eleven and five team again. Preseason. With, yes, there was no if fans Cam Newton in there. Is healthy, but I would I would be be, be surprised if they do not win that division again 
Yes, no yes. more watching Patriots soccer. Are no, more watching make another big, no more watching Korean baseball. No more watching cars big turn run. left. I saw actual now, basketball. The other I question saw a ball being dribbled, that I was going to like rise bowl, bowl, without seven having foot two himself. Games. Did, did you guys know he's How does this affect two, Tom Brady and the pounds? Buccaneers? Right? Because like I'm I said, six two, practice two thirty. Their scrimmage speed. <laughs> I mean, like, damn, and then there's like, game time speed, right? Mike Evans might, but I digress on that. Or whatever he like. I saw basketball, but this is the most comical thing that I saw. In practice, he's only so they are six. basketball, like in the scrimmage, sweaty he, people, sweaty he individuals, four, rubbing five, each other, four, four. boxing each other out. But once that you know, game, slapping hands, ex, like once that game's on, but when they yeah, went on the pumping, bench, they were all socially distancing, four, three, wearing two, right, wearing it just, masks. There's game speed, boom, boom, like, boom. And there's what? also those players that, like I said, aren't you guys in a you want great in helmets? But once you put you're in the bubble, everybody's being tested damn near daily. That four, if four not becomes twice a, four, a day, six, even. right? I mean, so um, obsessive amounts of testing. Tampa Bay Bucks taking every precaution for people not to get COVID inside the bubble one versus the. But new yet, one you guys are socially distancing and wearing these masks. It, it didn't make any the sense Tampa to me. Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady are going to look like total ass week one. I have to jump over versus the chats here. Drew Brees I mean, and the New Orleans. Digress to last segment, Mr. Three Brandon. Seasons, I, I jump in I have. Guessing you have Le'Veon I was Bell as seven ranked of player, it. You and personally, saw up at but it was four. It was bigger for the players than they it's interesting than they actually know. Let's oh, let's sorry, let's LeBron let's be honest. It was bigger for the players than they four. actually know. I don't know because much about timing. Basketball. Got better. Not bad. You knocked off the but rush. You got to I mean, hit some people. LeBron is you one of the top players in the and then that week one was pretty good too. Right, you were ready to go. You were solve the Lakers, and yet you weren't firing firing on all cylinders by any means. But you were firing on six or seven, right? Tampa Marcus Bay Buccaneers are going to be a four-cylinder Nissan. But nonetheless, let me get back on track, Brandon. Ford truck. Jeez, son, you're right? always wanting to divert me on this they're train track, horrible. and I'm trying to have an intelligent and conversation with, with myself and you they're people. They're going to be sputtering their wheels so Damn, bad. But what I'm is saying is, on to week two, week is three, this week whole four. NBA might bubble catch thing in about Week five, week six. Like, why are we socially distancing they on the bench wearing masks? On that, but it might why are the commentators little, sitting saying late. eight feet I think apart the Tampa wearing masks the most when you guys are all supposed to be isolated in this bubble in the NFL anyways, going into Makes zero sense to Michael Buckeyes. Did you guys hear that? In this Mike and Mike Man Hour, Bay I'm sure Mike LeBlanc would think the same thing going into buddy. 2020. Happy birthday. I think Vegas up. has them over under at 9.5 wins. Jameson has them going to the Super Bowl. I, guys, don't get me wrong. I was happy to see make the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and eight. I, I have never been lucky so happy to, make to the see playoffs a eight and eight. preseason basketball game Damn, guys. in my life until It is tonight. that time of night. Let's go ahead and get it started. The... That'll bring us to the two-minute warning. The L word. And it is time or for the two-minute warning. warning. Brandon and I always have Normally we try to keep it lighthearted, keep it kind of ha-ha funny. Just because right? your facts are but skewed and mine are straight and narrow. I saw a kill, I mean, it, like, Shad it is Ocho what it is. Cinco Johnson himself and Terrell Guys, Owens basketball is back. Sports are back in general. I believe kill kickoff. Is ass, or I'm sorry. Oh, right? was opening or night like for Major League Baseball ridiculous. is Friday, Terrell if I'm not mistaken. 46 years old. Whatever. It's still It is less than 24 hours away. This baseball is unofficial as well. So let me get into Unofficial baseball a little bit. Watch, Brandon, right? I know you are a baseball he, fan. pretty close. And right? some other people in the chat. Trent, we'll, I know you're a baseball we'll fan We'll give him the well. benefit of the I'm doubt. I'm a Kansas Rose fan. I obviously got my blue and white four, four, KC on. 46 years old. They play the Houston Astros You guys want to talk about being blackballed from the league. preseason spring training We've talked about Colin Kaepernick and how he doesn't deserve to be in the NFL because he simply just sucks. Harold Owens. Was black now they balled like from the NFL. Out, now our fastballs up. Even when he went to Cincinnati uh, Bengals, like for that I believe the average speed of the hitting by pitch got like 100 yards and five miles an hour. So there's like the third of curveballs and whatnot, etc. Two of the Guys, times the bases were loaded with Harold Terrell Owens, or for I would take uh, him on my Houston NFL Astros throws today. So when, when I the think he is that good, hit these players a bit of a skill. A run. I believe Rout the Royals lost the game, but you know that's nothing new. He has the one of the best if right wing Royals fan, the best hand. Not nine years. Dan Wad Hopkins from there. 2013. Like I said earlier, there is game time speed. You guys there's can all practice speed. Rocks to yes, he might slow down to a four, 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 four six. But man, what what what, what he's, he's what like I'm bringing up here is the reason why these players are getting hands because they're being so fast. That happened when the Houston Astros won the World Series. From the league, guys. I've been on record. I've said this many, many times. Percent. The only reason Man, why people are mad at the Houston Astros is because they got caught. That is the only reason why they're quote policing the system. 
I air quote that for you people listening on iTunes Radio, iHeartRadio. All right, guys, Spotify. that is it for tonight's show. For Mike and Mike Man Hours comes at you every Sunday through guys, Thursday. Let's be honest. 10 p.m. Everybody East Coast in the Major live League Baseball on our YouTube system channel, was cheating Twitch channel, that year. RTS if you Sports weren't, Facebook page, and of course, you were Mike stupid. and Mike Man Hours just Facebook like page if, as well. If, if you weren't we're using steroids on back in the steroid era, Twitter, you are stupid. as well. So, guys, feel if free to follow us on any of those platforms whatsoever. Let me repeat that. We are still giving away that $100 Amazon. Gift so card. listening people all you have to do <coughs> is head over to our facebook page hit if that the like button that gets you is into there when that hundred dollar amazon gift card. if there is not Every a rule likes, we're regulating the amazon gift card. shady gray area 40 likes away it. for our first gift make them make giveaway. a rule make head them make an example out of somebody like it nine times out of ten it probably won't be you unless you're a superstar but guys catch us next time there's a difference between stealing signs and using cameras and buzzers East Coast I don't know time. anything about the Mike buzzers, but Mike I do know they're banging hour. bats and whatnot. iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes. iTunes. Just, just face it, Brandon. RTS if Force your team, I believe you are a Cubs fan. Edition. If I'm not, a, a, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. it is not their fault yeah, that the cameras were up. set up perfectly where they could see the man signs. Now. Baseball is a game you of cheating. You already cheap. know. It's Baseball live. is a game of cheating. He says there is Bro. a rule against technology to steal signs. There wasn't then. Going down. Like these show me in the rule book where, 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 know that they where it says that show. you cannot the use your camera to steal signs. There might be there one hour now, hour but I'm pretty Mike, sure Mike, 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 there wasn't there when this was happening. Uh, so, the like breaking I said, news. Yeah. rules are there to be broken, None, nonetheless, if, if you're not cheating in baseball, you are not trying. What do you do to try to get first, second, or second? You are cheating to get second, right? Watch it flip it back. I can double up. I got this. When I'm on second base, leading out of step, step, shuffle, 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 right? I'm looking for the catcher to see if I can see some signs. I can tell you this. I can my batter tips. What is the difference between that running? Thank you, guys. Mike and Mike Man Hour. Oh, we are out. There's nothing different. Sunday through Thursday. The only reason why people are mad at the Astros, and I guess they're probably mad at the Red Sox as well, because uh, Brandon says the 2015 Red Sox are getting trouble for it, like as like as well. As always, they're just mad because they Bro. quote got caught and un, and they happened to win the World Sports Series. Talk. It's 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 not my fault that you didn't think of think of it to get an advantage for yourself. It's not my fault that my can my, that my Kansas City, City Royals, you know, raced two hundred losses year in and year out. Congratulations, guys! By the way, this year we will finish with no less than fifty losses. I'm very excited about that. First time in a long time. But the but let, let me get get back on track and like and like a little bit here. The reason why I brought this up is because I wonder how long hitting of the Houston Astro batters is going to take place and before somebody like the commissioner of Major League Baseball is going to step in. Now, back in the day, you know, in the steroid era or even probably early to mid-2000s, baseball policed itself, right? If you flip the bat, you got hit by a pitch like the like the next like the next the next time. If you stared down the home run ball a little too long, you got a high inside heater the next pitch. Basically, pitchers don't like to be shown 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 showing up what it comes down down to. If I was a major league hitter, I would do that every time just to piss that pitcher off. So what I'm saying is, you know, that's kind of the, the old school mentality. Now these new school kids are trying to police an old school way that they don't even know how to do it. So what what I'm what I'm afraid of is there's going to be some young pitcher. Usually, when you hit a batter, you aim for their butt, right, or their like or their arm. There that there's going to be some young pitcher that's going to lose control. Is he's going to hit a 95, 96, and five mile an hour fastball up around the neck and is going to hurt a Astros player. Then 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 what happens? Major League Baseball is going to step in sooner than later. They're probably going to let it go for about a week, six, seven games. And then they're going to step in and do something. The umpires are probably going to pre-warn the benches before the game even starts. You know, they're going to give the warning 
warning. Anybody gets hit, you're out of here, right? That's exactly what's what's going to happen. Houston Astros are probably going to win another World Series again this year. They are a team that is built for the short season. There are a few teams that are built for the short season. I'm going to throw out the Cincinnati Reds. I think the, I think the uh, White Sox are built for a short season lock as well. And, you know, maybe like a team like the Twins or, or the Brewers, they're built for a short season as well. So, guys, there are going to be some sleepers in the Major League World Series this year in the playoffs in general. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to baseball season. It looks like I'm getting co- close on time, so let me go ahead and speed it up here. So, last night, we announced on the show that the NFL preseason is officially canceled. No preseason games going into the 2020 season. With that, with that being said, I have to ask the question, does this affect Cam Newton's likelihood to start week one? I... I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but I'm going to go with a yes. So I'm I'm asking people in the comments section here to let me know. Give me a hashtag yes or a hashtag no. Do you think by having no preseason games in the 2020, this affects Cam's Newton likelihood to start week number one? The reason why I'm asking this is is because most most battles for that number one spot are won on week. Week two, week three of preseason games, right? Week, 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 week one, there Stenham would have started. He probably would have played three quarters or so, like or so, maybe a half. Second week, he he definitely would have played a half, but Cam Newton would have played the whole second half. And then third game, you would have saw who was going to be the starter. It was going to be Cam Newton or uh, Jarrett Stenham. And I think that's when Cam Newton would have take 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 eight the realms and led that team. Now, with that not happening, yes, there is still competition. Yes, there's still practices. Yes, you'll have inner squad scrimmages. Hell, they they might even have the what's the team that's close, 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 close by there. And would they have the Jets come by? No, they'll probably have the Giants come on by and play a like a soap scrimmage, like an inner squad scrimmage. You get twenty five plays. You get twenty five plays. That kind of thing, right? But like I said, guys, I am a firm believer that once you turn on the lights, you are a different type of player. I I, I don't care what you say. Some people are practice all stars. I have a few kids on 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 my high school team. They are practice all stars. You see them flying around the field, hitting motherfuckers in the like in like in like in the face, wrapping people up, picture perfect. But man, once those Friday night lights turn turn on, their buttholes pucker up and they're shitting their pants. Scared, scared, scared little bitches, right? Same, same thing about those, about like me. Me, I half-ass practice. Like I was there where I needed to be, and I wasn't going to hit you hard because you were my teammate. You were my brother at the end of the day. God, God, I didn't want to have a chance to hurt you. I knew my starting job was locked in because I was a bad motherfucker, right? But then those Friday nights come on. I was flying all over the field. Those Saturday nights lights come on. I was flying all over the field, man. It just there's there's something different about it. Playing under 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 the lights. Cam Newton would have rose to the occasion. It basically ripped that spot from Jarrett Stenham week two, week three of the preseason. He would have. Jameson says there is no way, no way Jarrett Stenham is going to start week one. Cam Newton will definitely start. And. I'm afraid that's not going to happen because the public has not been able to publicly see Cam Newton take the realms, to take the team, to earn that starting spot, right? You always have that opportunity to rip it from people. We saw it when um, when Tony Romo got hurt a couple years ago and Dak Prescott came in, and he, yes, he was forced into that position, but he ripped it away, and he ran with it. He never looked back, right? Cam Newton would have done the same thing with Jared Sedum during the preseason. Now, does this affect his likelihood to start week one? The answer to that question is yes. It does affect the likelihood of him starting week one. Does Cam Newton still start week one? Mm, mm, mm. 
I got to go with yes. I think Cam Newton is going to start week one. I'm going to re-break down the uh, New England Patriots. I think I had them going 8-8, eight and 7-9. Eight, and nine. Guys, they're looking like a more and more like 11-5 and five team again. If Cam Newton is healthy, I would, I would be, be, be surprised if they do not win that division again this season. Patriots are locked and loaded again to make another big, big run. Now, the other question that I was going to rise without having preseason games. How does this affect Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, right? Because like I said, there's practice speed, there's scrimmage speed, and then there's game time speed, right? Mike Evans might run a 4-4 or whatever he, like he runs, 4-3. But in practice, he's only running 4-6. And like in the scrimmage, he, he ramps it up to about 4-5, 4-4. But once that game once that game's on, the adrenaline pumping, that bro's running 4-3, 4-2, right? It's just, there's game speed, boom, boom, boom. And there's also those players that, like I said, you run great in helmets, but once you put those pads, but once you put those pads on, that 4-4 becomes a 4-6, right? So, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to look like total ass week one versus the New Orleans Saints. Let me repeat that. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady are going to look like total ass week one versus Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Preseason, I like I said, I have written off preseason. I was never a big fan of it to watch personally, but it was it was bigger for the players than they than than they actually know. Let's 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 be honest. It was bigger for the players than they actually know because timing got better, you knocked off the rush, you got to hit some people in the mouth, you got hit, and then that week one rolled around, you were ready to go. You were, I mean, yeah, you weren't firing firing on all cylinders by any means, but you were firing on six or seven, right? Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be a four-cylinder Nissan Altima versus a Ford truck V8, right? They're going to look horrible. And they're, they're going to be sputtering their wheels so bad week one. It's going to carry on to week two, week three, week four. They might catch their bearings about week five, week six. Then they will definitely start to pile on that, but it might be too little too late. I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the most overrated team in the NFL going into 2020. Did you guys hear that? Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the most overrated team going into 2020. I think Vegas has them over under at 9.5 wins. Jameson has them going to the Super Bowl. They'll be lucky if they make the playoffs at 8 and 8. Lucky to make the playoffs at 8 and 8. But damn guys, it is at time of night. Let's go ahead and get it started. That'll bring us to the 2 minute warning. And it is time for the 2 minute warning. Normally, we try to keep it lighthearted, keep it kind of ha-ha funny, right? But I saw a video of Tyree Kill, Shad Ochocinco Johnson himself, and Terrell Owens all running 40-yard dashes the other day. Tyree Kill was a fast mofo, right? Was it 4-2 or something like that? Something ridiculous. Terrell Owens, 46 years old, right? Still built like a brick shit house. This guy ran an unofficial 4-4. Unofficial means stopwatch, right? But he's usually pretty close, right? We'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say it was, maybe it was a 4-5. But still, 4-4 four, four at 46 years old. You guys want to talk about getting blackballed from the league? We've talked about Colin Kaepernick and how he doesn't deserve to be in the, in the NFL because he simply just sucked. Terrell Owens was blackballed from the NFL. Even when he went to Cincinnati Bengals for that couple years, or for one year, he still got like 900 yards receiving as like a third or fourth string. Guys, 46-year-old Terrell Owens, I would take him on my NFL team today. I think he is that good, that good of a skill. Route hit, he has the, one of the best route running abilities, the best hands, and clearly his speed is still there. Like I said earlier, there's game time speed and there's practice speed. Yes, he might slow down to a four, a four, a four six. But man, what, what, what he's, he's like six four, six three, six four. Big old hands, still big, still fast. Terrell Owens got blackballed from the league, guys. One hundred percent. 
Man, I miss that guy. Alrighty, guys, that is it for tonight's show. Mike and Mike Man Hour comes at you every Sunday through Thursday, 10 p.m. East Coast time, live on our YouTube channel, Twitch channel, RTF Sports Facebook page, and, of course, our Mike and Mike Man Hours Facebook page as well. We're also streaming on Periscope and Twitter as well. So, guys, feel free to follow us on any of those platforms whatsoever. We are still giving away that $100 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is is head over to our Facebook page, hit that like button. That gets you entered in to win that $100 Amazon gift card. Every 500 likes, we're giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. We are less than 40 likes away for our first give- giveaway. Head over to that fa- 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 Facebook page, like it, and we will raffle it live right here on air. But, guys, catch us next time right here. Same time, same place, 10 p.m. East Coast time, Mike and Mike Man Hour iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, and of course, rtfsportsnetwork.com, noon edition. Have a good night. Yeah. Get high, rapper. The man hour. You already know. It's live. It's raw. It's going down. Like this. I'm going around and letting everybody know that they welcome to the show. Yep. It's the littlest thing you've ever seen, you already know. Let me introduce you to your host of the hour. It be Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. Yeah, it's the man hour. Yep. Got the hottest plays, uh, all the breaking news. Yeah. Every rumor, every trade, every breaking bruise. Mm-hmm. Tighten up the screws. Yeah, yeah it's going yeah. down. Have to say, what the fuck? What? I never want it down. Yeah. It's going down. Oh. I'll be rolling up. Yep. And oh. you can buy it or you sell it, then you made the cut. Uh-huh. Watch you flip it back. I can double up. I got some rocks for that ass. I'ma burn it Woo! up. Gotta check the rules. Let's know that it be fair and foul. Huh? Rep blow the whistle. Coach throw the towel. Throw we the can towel, do bitch. this on the field or outside the lines. Yeah. It's the man now and old. Now we going live. <laughs> Thank you guys. Mike and Mike Man Hour. We are out. Sunday through Thursday. 10 p.m. East Coast time. RTSportsNetwork.com As always, live, raw, and uncut sports talk.